Mailman Gang rise up and welcome back to the channel. So all the 2021 Monkey Kid sets have been revealed and you guys know what that means. It's ranking time. There are only 7 sets in the wave and they won't be out till March 1st. But thankfully my friend Cosmic Bricks on Instagram was able to get most of the 2021 Monkey Kid sets and I very much appreciate his help in the making of this video. So if you guys don't follow him, please go do that and show him some love. Anyways, let's begin this ranking. So starting off at number 7 is Monkey Kid Lion Guardian. Originally this was going to be much higher on the list, but then I discovered this set is $80. Um, yikes. Also it turns out this set is pretty big and unstable. A lot of the pieces fall down when you move it, and overall I don't think this set is worth it. I still think the minifigure selection is great, and the arcade side build looks awesome, but just a combination of the elevated price point bad sizing, and overall a design that left a lot to be desired, left me very disappointed in this set. So I had to put it at the last spot on the list. Now at number 6 is the White Dragon Horse Jet. I was not a huge fan of this set when it was first revealed, and even though it is a cheaper way to get the new May, the high price point and the lack of innovative play features made me put this at number 6. I mean, it's 60 bucks. I don't want to spend 60 bucks for a set with 3 minifigures. I mean, if it was 50 and it included an extra minifigure, that's a maybe. But 3 minifigures, a jet that doesn't look that big, and doesn't really push innovation forward for 60 bucks, yeah, this is definitely a pass for me. And that's why it's at number 6. Now, barely getting into my top 5 is Red Sun's Infernal Jet. This set is not bad in any way. I'd actually say it's pretty good, but it's exactly what you see in the box. There is no mind blowing play feature and add the fact that no minifigures are exclusive and they are all reuses of wave 1 characters. As good as I think this set is, ironically I don't think it has enough firepower to overcome the rest of the sets in the wave. But what made me put this set at number 5 is that if you don't own any monkey kid sets, this is an amazing pickup. It really is. You're getting two fan favorite characters and another bull clone which those will always come in handy. I think with that price point this set is absolutely worth it. And that's why it's in my number 5 spot. Now coming in at number 4 is Monkey Kid's Cloud Bike. Honestly I am very surprised with this set. Yes, MK's bike looks a bit chunky, but in comparison with all the other oversized motorcycles we've seen in the past, it's not that big. Surprisingly it also has play features and it's $25. Plus you get an exclusive new spider character called Spindrax, whose design is just amazing and to my surprise the spider motorcycle is much better than I thought. Overall, I know this might be an unpopular opinion, but I think this is one of the better sets from the wave, so that's why it lands at number 4 on my list. Now, number 3 is Spider Queen's Arachnoid Base. Again, another surprise, this set is much better than I thought. The set is very stable thanks to the wheels underneath the main body. It also comes with an exclusive MK face print, which in my opinion looks kind of funny, and the iconic Geo minifigure. <laughs> Outside of jokes, the box art doesn't do this set justice. It's so big and has one menacing design. And the fact that its interior is also pretty nice makes this not just an amazing vehicle, but one hell of a playset. Add to the fact it comes with a flying Monkey King staff. This set is awesome. The only thing that kind of makes this set lower on the list is the fact that White Bone Spirit is missing from this set. If she came in this set, this set would probably be at number 2, but since she's absent, it stays at number 3. Now, at number 2 is the Monkey Kids Team Drone Copter. This was originally going to be much lower on the list, but my friend Cosmic convinced me that this set is amazing. And for stars, this set is massive. And when I say massive, I mean massive. It's enormous. The minifigure selection in this set is also amazing. It's a nice way to get most of the Monkey Team and most of Spider Queen's army. And we can't forget, we get a tank. For its size, minifigure selection, and its decent price, this is a great set. Also, quick side note, this does not connect to the HQ, Cosmic already checked. So yeah, I'm in love with this set, and I can't wait to have it in my hands, but there is still one more set I feel is better. At number 1, you already know, it's Flower Food Mountain. This is just an amazing set, and I was glad to hear from Cosmic that this set is much more than a facade. It's action packed with play features like this one where the waterfall opens and in general there are a ton of hidden details all around this massive set. If you're a fan of the Monkey King like myself, this is everything you could have asked for and more. Seeing all the iterations of the Monkey King from birth to what we know in the show is awesome. 
and the inclusion of a couple of monkeys from Flower Fruit Mountain and Macaque just make this set so much better. This set is just amazing. Lego absolutely nailed it and for $170, 1900 pieces, it's a great deal. This is the best set of the way by far. I'd even say this is a masterpiece. But hey, that's just my big opinion. Anyways, Mailman Gang, tell me your rankings in the comment section down below. And remember, you don't have to agree with me, we just need to have fun. As always, I'm Ace, and these are all my break opinions. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like down below, it supports out the channel a ton. And if you're new here, subscribe for more LEGO Monkey Kid content. I hope you all have a fantastic day, and thanks for watching, take care.